mga buhay natin. We, we are acknowledging the arrival of um, MDH Minister Mohab Heron. Minister Mohab Heron. Minister Mohab Heron. Minister for Education and, and Health. We can also see that. Si, si Wali. Si Wali. Object. <laughs> Sound. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Welcome po sa live streaming ng Bangsamoro Government para sa kick-off ceremony ng selebrasyon ng ikalawang foundation anniversary ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Ako po si Al Bashir Saiden. At ako naman si Orian Apatan. Sa lahat po ng ating mga kababayan, hindi lamang po dito sa Cotabato City at sa Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, kundi maging sa iba't ibang parte ng bansa at maging sa labas ng Pilipinas. Uh, manatili po ang nakatutok sa live streaming ng Bangsamoro Government para sa week-long celebration ng Bangsamoro Anniversary. At live din po tayong napapakinggan ngayong umaga hanggang mamaya sa Voice FM. Ayan, yes, yes Arian, ngayong uh, actually uh, the celebration ano ng uh, foundation anniversary ng uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao will take uh, will be uh, for four days ano so mangyayari yeah. ito for four days at magsisimula yung uh, kick off ngayong araw at yung culmination nito ay sa 21 dahil sa 21 nga January 21 yung uh, the day nga ano mm -hmm. yung uh, mismong foundation day ng uh, Bangsamoro or ng BARMM dahil uh, sa araw na yon sa January 21 ay uh, uh, ginugunita natin yung pagkakaratipika ano or yung ratification ng Bangsamoro Organic Law nung uh, uh, manalo ang yes ano uh, sa rati, sa sa plebisit mm, sa core territory yes, sa court. ng uh, BARMM na nga ngayon. And aside from that, uh, in a few minutes nga, magsisimula na yung ating formal program. Uh, sisimula yan, sisimulan niya ng um, flag raising o sa kauna-una ang pagkakataon din. No? Uh, itataas o iwawagaywa yung bandila ng Bangsamoro. Sa flag ceremony. Yeah. No? So, ito yung kauna-una ang pagkakataon na itataas ano, at iwawagayway dito sa loob ng Bangsamoro Government Center sa flagpole na yan ang uh, flag or ang watawat ng uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao ano actually this is the second uh, foundation anniversary ng BARMM but this is just i mean ito yung una ano kauna-unahang pagkakataon na magkakaroon ng uh, uh, Siguro simpleng mga activities, celebration para maiparamdam sa mga tao yung yung uh, ano ba, yung spirit of festivity ano. Uh, may mga inihandang mga activity ang Bangsamoro government at uh, yan nga ay magsisimula ngayong araw sa pamamagitan ng flag raising ceremony ano. At uh, Pero ano ba? Bashir, ito din yung first within the year na ginawa itong flag ceremony dahil nga um, because we are still experiencing yes. the uh, pandemic itong COVID-19 kaya we are still um, nananawagan tayo sa ating mga kababayan especially those uh, sa ating mga kasama mm -hmm. dito ngayon sa Bangsamoro Government Center to observe the um, minimum health standards na sinet po ng ating Department of Health. Yes. Actually ngayong araw although uh, meron tayong mga 
flag ceremony at uh, meron tayong uh, simpleng programa ay uh, we make sure na talagang masusunod pa rin yung minimum public health standard ano so tulad nga po ng sinabi po natin kanina ang uh, celebration po ng uh, Bangsamoro uh, Foundation Day ay magtatagal ng uh, apat na araw ngayon yung kick off at sa 21 yung parang culmination niya yeah. so ngayong araw nga inaasahan natin na uh, ano ba yung uh, laman nung magiging laman ano nung activities or yung program natin ngayong umaga. So aside from um ito nga gagawin na uh, flag ceremony magkakaroon din ng ceremonial turnover ng mga armchairs headed by the Ministry of um Basic Higher and Technical Education of course mm-hmm. uh through or headed by the minister Minister Mogher Iqbal. Yes it it, it ito it, ito yung uh, symbolic turnover of armchairs yeah. ano so magiging part po yan ng ating pong programa ngayong umaga uh, magiging part po ng ating programa yung symbolic distribution of relief goods and wheelchair na pagungunahan po yan mismo ng ating pong punong ministro o ang ating chief minister Ahod Balawag Ibrahim or Ahod al Murad Ibrahim. Maliban dyan, magkakaroon din ang launching ng regional disaster vehicles and equipment. Yes, and ngayong araw din po, uh, magkakaroon din po, ano, magbahagi ng mga activities, line up ng activities ngayong araw, yung pagta-turn over ng CHD-12. Yeah. Uh, ano ba yung CHD-12? DOH-12, mm. uh, based in Cotabato City or... Center for Health, Health Development, Development. 12. 12. Which is under Region 12 yes, before. before. And it will be turned over officially. Ministry of Health. Oh, all right. So, tulad ng mga nakaraang turnover, ano, uh, yung DILG, yung M, uh, DO, uh, DOLE, Department of Labor and Employment, at iba pang mga Dep-ed. office. Yes, yung DepEd, kamakailan. Ngayong araw, yung, ngayong araw naman po iti turn over yung DOH or yung CHD12 sa Ministry of Health ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Ayan, sa ating po mga viewers all over the Philippines and all even outside the Philippines yeah. dahil, you know, marami tayong viewers uh, sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ano? So, um, sa mga gusto pong maki, makisali at... Uh, Makiisa sa celebration po ng foundation anniversary ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Manatili lamang po nakatutok po sa ating pong live streaming at sa mga magpo-post or gusto pong uh, magpadala ng kanila mga mensahe or uh, yung mga nandito na gustong mag, na magpo-post sa social media, we encourage everyone to use the hashtag. The official hashtag. Yes, the official hashtag for this celebration. Yung moral, a uh, hashtag moral governance and hashtag for a better Bangsamoro. Yeah, kasi this is in line with our mm-hmm. theme. The theme for the second anniversary of the Bangsamoro Foundation Day is uh, building or moral governance, building strong foundations for a better Bangsamoro. Yes, yeah. so sa ating po mga viewers, uh, wag po natin kakalimutan na isali po sa mga posts natin yung hashtag moral governance and hashtag for a better Bangsamoro. So sa kaalaman po ng lahat po ng ating po mga viewers, yung celebration po ng uh, Bangsamoro uh, Bangsamoro Foundation Day is it is it is celebrated region wide. So yeah. hindi lang dito sa region mm-hmm. ano. So simultaneously mamaya ay magkakaroon ng uh, hoisting or pag-aakyat, uh, pagtataas, pagwawagayway ng uh, bandera ng uh, Bangsamoro sa iba't ibang region ay iba't ibang provi- probinsya sa BARMM and so, of course kasali din dyan yung 63 barangays, barangays sa North Cotabato na ngayon nga ay bahagi na rin po ng core territories ng uh, BARMM and of course here sa Cotabato City so aside dun sa mga na- nas- nabanggit natin kanina ng mga turnover mm-hmm. ceremonial turnover magkakaroon din ng different activities sa mga like yun nga provinces and uh, different areas yes. like sa Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, yes. Sulu, uh, Maguindanao at Lanao del Sur. So yung mga services po from different ministries ay uh, ihahatid po sa inyo sa mga probinsya na yan in celebration with the Bangsamoro Foundation anniversary. Yes, so uh, para mabigyan po ng ideya no yung ating po mga viewers and uh, listeners sa kanika nila mga tahanan Bigyan natin sila ng uh, silipin natin ano yung uh, calendar of activities 
from uh, ngayong araw, January 18 hanggang 21. So ngayong araw nga, uh, mangyayari po yung kick-off ceremony, which is ito nga po, yung flag ceremony. Uh, at um, magkakaroon po ngayong araw din po ng uh, first, ano, kauna-unahang meeting of the Council of Leaders dito po yan sa Bangsamoro Government Center. Uh, tulad nga rin po ng sinabi namin kanina, meron din pong uh, symbolic relief distribution, uh, symbolic relief distribution, distribution and launching of regional disaster vehicles and equipment and relief distribution to 50 beneficiaries of Cotabato City at uh, MOA signing ano, of the support to the LGU infrastructure sa Maguindanao, sa Talayan, sa Sultan Kutarat, sa Dato Blasinswat at sa South Upi. Ito po ay pangungunahan ng Ministry of the Interior and Local Government or MILG at ng READY or yung Bangsamoro Ready. Uh, Bangsamoro Ready. Ano ba yung Bangsamoro Ready? Nakalimutan ba? <laughs> yun na yun siya. And also, aside from the turnover of the um, Center for Health and Development 12 going to or to Ministry of Health, BARMM, magkakaroon din ng turnover ng Department of Trade and Industry 12 to MTIB yes. BARMM. Yes, Arian, yung, yung, yung ready pala is Regional uh, Emergency Action on Disaster Incidents. Man. Baka isipin. No? <laughs> yeah. Yes. At, at uh, tulad nga ng sinabi natin kanina, pangungunahan din po ng Ministry of Health or MOH yung turnover ng CHD-12 sa MOH, Ministry of Health. Ito uh, magkakaroon din ng symbolic relief distribution of medical equipment ngayong araw po yan. Meron din photo exhibit featuring Tabawan Cultural Heritage na pangungunahan naman ng Bangsamoro Cult Culture BCH. <laughs> Bureau of Cultural oh. Cultural Heritage. Yeah, BCH po yan. Meron din po ng turnover of uh, health facilities uh, under the national government within the BARMM. At magkakaroon din ang groundbreaking ceremony ng Cotabato Abang Airport Project Development. Yes, actually ito isa ito sa mga pinaka-highlight ano. Mm -hmm. Dahil uh, yung, yung groundbreaking ceremony of Cotabato Awang okay. Airport Project Development, kabilang dito yung uh, widening ano pagpapalawak sa runway. Okay. Yes, and uh, yung mole po, yung Ministry of Labor and Employment, ay from today ay magkakaroon ng mga uh, jobs fair, uh, simultaneous jobs fair sa iba't ibang bahagi po yan ng uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao with uh, at uh, 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 with consideration doon sa ating um, minimum public health standard. As always. Yes, as always. Dahil uh, we should not forget that we are still in uh, a pandemic. Oo, kaya lagi pa rin suotin yung mga mm -hmm. mask and as much as possible yung mga face shield kung meron. Yes. So, Arian, bahagi rin ng ating mga programa ngayong araw ano, sa mga nakalinya na programa. Uh, ito, madami-dami yung mga nakalinyang activities ng Ministry of the Basic Higher and Technical Education or the MBHTE. Merong mangyayaring ceremonial awarding of 25,000 pesos uh, subsidy grant for Madaris. Merong ceremonial awarding of checks sa AHME scholars. Launching of B SBFP module. Awarding of NO NOAA SBFP. Awarding of NOAA to uh, contractors. Ceremonial turnover of armchairs. Distribution of floglets and teacher's kits at uh, uh, Contest, ano, may contest on calling of azan and poster making and essay writing contest. Yan po yung po sa atin ng MBHTE or ng Minister of Basic Higher and Technical Education. Aside from that, meron ding activities uh, na inihanda ang MFBM or the Ministry of Finance, Budget and Management. Isa na dyan yung launching of the 2021 GAAB Seminar Training on 2021 budget execution guidelines at budget info campaign. Yes, ang MIPA naman po, Minister of the Indigenous Peoples Affairs, ay uh, magkakaroon ng Thanksgiving and highlighting of the plan of the IDPs to return back in their indigenous communities. At uh, i-support uh, naman ng Ministry of uh, 
MOST, Ministry, Ministry of, of Science, Science and Technology. Technology. Mamibigay sila ng mga brochures uh, from the regional to provincial level about sa kanilang 2021 yes. funded programs and services. On the part naman po ng MTIT or the Ministry of uh, Trade, Industry and Tourism, uh, meron pong uh, establish po ng mga institutionalized booths. So may mga maliliit pong booth dito po sa loob po ng Bangsamoro Government Center kung saan na naka-display po or uh, uh, ano ba tawag dyan? Naka- exhibit yung uh, mga showcasing. Yeah, showcasing the accomplishments so far uh, ng uh, iba't ibang uh, mga ministries ng BARMM at uh, ano ba meron pong uh, yan, giveaway souvenir items all right awarding of certificate of registration and certificate of uh, compliance of cooperatives uh, under naman sa Bureau of Tourism ay uh, may mga display of products all over BARMM and yun nga may photo exhibit. And sa ano, Bangsamoro Information Office yes. naman, syempre magkakaroon ng parang talk with the media yeah. para um, for ano lang, updates yeah. and ito nga para ipaalam sa publiko yung mga mangyayari at mga activities for the week-long celebration of the Bangsamoro Foundation mm. Day. It's a relaunching po nung kapihan sa Bangsamoro with the media. Ano? And uh, sa BTA naman po, the Bangsamoro Transition Authority ay uh, magkakaroon po ngayong araw ng webinar celebrating the gains of peace and people's rights to self-determination. Ito po hatid po sa atin ni ng Office of the Ministry of uh, uh, ng Office of MP Latip. And of course, meron ding mga inihanda na badminton tournament and the uh, chess competition. Bureau of uh, Sports Commission. Bangsamora Sports Commission or BSC. Meron din pong ceremonial distribution of Sagip Kabuhayan and Alay Kabuhayan programs with the MSSD or the Ministry of S Ministry of Social Sciences and Development. At uh, tulad nga po ng sinabi po natin kanina, ang celebration po ng Bangsamoro Foundation Anniversary ay hindi lamang po dito sa region, ano, and sa regional office. Before we ano, forget, meron ding medical and surgical mission right. na gagawin naman ng Ministry of mm -hmm. Health. So ngayong araw po, uh, yung kick-off ceremony at uh, ito po simultaneous pong magkakaroon ng flag ceremony, flag racing uh, Uh, or flag racing sa iba't ibang bahagi po ng BARMM. Bukas naman po ay uh, isa sa uh, uh, simula bukas ay uh, sa ibang mga probinsya. mga probinsya naman po yung uh, everyday po, yes. iba't ibang mga activities yung gagawin sa mga provinces uh, dito po sa BARMM. Mm -hmm. Yes, bukas, uh, that's uh, January 19. Ang uh, mga activities po ay uh, ang mga activities po ay naka-focus, uh, naka naka-sentro sa Maguindanao uh, at sa Lanao del Sur. So sa uh, January 20 ay uh, yung mga activities naman po ay uh, naka-focus or naka-sentro. Ano, nandun yung mga activities mostly sa Basilan and uh, sa 63 barangay sa North Cotabato. And sa 21, which is the day, the day, yung pong ating pong... Uh, Araw talaga ng celebration ng uh, ikalawang foundation, founding anniversary ng BARMM ay uh, magkakaroon ulit ng isang programa dito sa loob ng Bangsamoro Government Compound Center, I mean, kung saan magbibigay po ng report to the Bangsamoro si Chief Minister Ahod Alhaj Murad yes, Ebrahim. That will be the highlight of the Foundation Day anniversary. Mm -hmm. no? uh, yung mga napagtagumpayan, yung mga accomplishment na gawa ng uh, Bangsamoro government mula nang maitatag ang Bangsamoro o ang BARMM government nung uh, two Gen years ago. Yeah, two years ago, January 21. Oh. So tulad nga nang nabanggit natin kanina, Ariana, no? this is the first time Although this is the second the foundation anniversary celebration, nung una kasi na anniversary ng BARM ay uh, medyo, uh, we, we still celebrated it since the fanfare. So tinang, uh, walang mga ganitong klaseng activities because of the pandemic. Although may pandemic pa rin naman ngayon, uh, we, we uh, sinelebrate pa rin natin 
uh, considering with the consideration ano doon sa pub, minimum public health Kaya nga standard. din pinapala again again again, again and again po natin lahat-lahat uh, na maintain po yung ating physical mm-hmm. distancing at saka yung pagsusuot ng face mask at face shield. Yes. Kahit po meron tayong pagtitipon dito ngayon, uh, dapat pinafollow pa rin po yung uh, health protocol. Minimum public health standard, susuot ng mask at face shield, pag maintain ng physical distancing at uh, palagi ang paghuhugas ng kamay or pagsasanitize mm-hmm. ng kamay. Ayan, so... Uh, in a few minutes, siguro, Albashir, no? we mm-hmm. will begin the uh, Magsisimula program. yung ating program. Magsisimula yung ating... Uh, Nakita na natin na dumating na si uh, mm-hmm. Chief Minister Ahod Balawag Ibrahim and also different uh, officials mm-hmm. of the BRM government and the uh, members of the parliament. Nandito na din. Actually, medyo maulan ngayon, ano? Uh, pero hindi naman ganun kalakasan, but Sabi nga nila, this is a blessing. Ano? Oo. So, dun po sa ating mga listeners, uh, baka meron kayong mga gustong uh, itanong habang hindi pa nagsasalita. Or, or nags- nags- oo, ipaabot okay. greetings habang hindi pa nag-uumpisa yung ating uh, programa. Oo. Gust- yes. Manitili lamang po makat- nakatutok ano, dahil uh, nakali- live streaming po yung programa po natin. ngayong umaga hanggang mamaya. So, kahit nasa bahay po tayo, ay kasali pa rin po tayo sa celebration ng foundation anniversary. Oh, yes. Okay. Oo. Makikiisa naman tayo virtually. Yes. So, mafeel pa rin natin yung spirit of the celebration kahit nasa bahay po tayo. Basta manatili lamang po nakatutok sa ating live streaming. Alright? So, Batiin natin ano yung ating mga viewers. Oy, si Ma'am Myra Borja Mangkabong is watching from uh, from Lamitan, Basilan. Si Ma'am Ma- Yes, hi Ma'am. Good morning po. Si Ma'am Myra po ay former DOSTARMM secretary na ngayon po ay uh, uh, oh, div- div- schools division. Uh, schools division superintendent na po si ngayon si Ma'am Myra. Ayan. Saying hi din po sa... Ang dami nating viewers today. Uh, hey to Kennedy Dakanay Untong. Sabi niya, Mabrook Bang Samoro first, found, first founding anniversary. Actually, second na po. But first time pong may ganitong mga lineup of activities. Ayan. Ayan, nakikita na rin po natin na uh, nagdadatingan na po yung ating pong... Uh, mga officials ng uh, minist- ng iba't ibang mga ministries ng uh, BARMM nakikita natin yung mga um, member of the parliament din na nandito ano uh, ministries so yun so siguro trivia muna tayo ano ang uh, Currently, ang, ang barn po ay meron pong 15 ministries. Itong 15 ministries... Kasi, bakit ba merong may, may, ministries? Yes. Kasi, di ba, different, different form of um, government. Uh, parliamentary government. Oh, the chief minister. Yes. Yeah. So, kung dati, Department of Health, Department of Education. Ngayon po, Ministry of Health, Minister of Education, and so on and so forth. So, meron po tayong 15 ministries. Uh... Kaya mo bang isa? <laughs> so, 15 po yun. So, kabila na po dyan yung mga Ministry of the Interior and Local Government, Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education, Ministry of Tourism, Trade and Industry, and so on. Yes. And so on and so forth. And then, yeah. ilan ba yung ano, members of the parliament? 80. Yun. So, Tama ba? <laughs> Yes, 80 po. So, uh, saying hi po sa lahat po ng ating po mga members of the parliament na nakatutok ngayon. Oo, kasi man lahat no nakakita. Kasi nga, di ba, we are still following the health protocol. Health protocols. At saka, hindi din lahat ng mga empleyado. Yung mga dati, mm. like in every flag ceremony, lahat ng mga employees in encourage to attend. Ngayon po, Meron lamang maximum of 15 employees per offices yung uh, allowed. Oo. Dahil nga hindi mo na pwede yung 
siksikan. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, so, magsisimula na ba? At eto na nga po, magsistart na po, magsisimula na po yung ating pong programa. Okay, wala pa. So, again, no, papaalala natin sa kanila, siksikan. Maintain pa rin yung social distancing at yung mm -hmm. ilang per ministry. Per ministry for office. Yung uh, dapat nakasali sa flag ceremony. Yun pong mga ano, um, Yes. Yes, actually Arian, 6:30 pa lang ay uh, isinara na yung gate, ano? Sarado na yung gate ng Bangsamoro Government Center. For the information of everybody pala, ang uh, bang ang uh, dati kasi itong compound na ito ay tinatawag na ORG compound or Office of the Regional Governor Compound. But since BARM na Uh, ang tawag na po ngayon dito ay uh, Bangsamoro Government Center or BGC, o di ba? May BGC na po dito sa Cotabato. So Bangsamoro Government Center uh, ang tawag na po ngayon dito po sa dating ORG compound. Pero hanggang ngayon ORG pa rin yung nakalagay sa mga address natin sa Lazada at saka sa, Zal sa Zalora at saka sa Shopee. <laughs> But in the long run, siguro in the future, magiging BGC din po yan. Again po, para po makapag-update kayo o in the loop kayo sa mga activities in line with the second founding anniversary of BARMM. Manatiling lang pong nakatutok sa a page ng Bangsamoro government dahil from time to time magkakaroon po ng live update uh, mula sa ating mga kasamahan sa Bangsamoro information office. Yes. And every day kasi merong mga activities as we have mentioned kanina. Mm -hmm. Kaya yun, manatili lang po nakatutok sa Bangsamoro government page. Yes. Uh, tulad nga ng sinabi natin kanina ay uh, meron din mga iba't ibang activities na gagawin sa iba't ibang probinsya ng BARMM at sa 63 barangays. Bukas po, uh, January 19, uh, sa Maguindanao at Lanao del Sur po yung uh, magiging uh, series, magkakaroon ng series of activities and programs bukas sa Maguindanao and Lanao del Sur. Kabilang sa mga activities na atin pong inaasahan ay ang uh, pagsasagawa ng mafarlenke. Oh. So, ibig sabihin, magdadala sila ng mga goods oh. doon sa area. Yes. So, yung mafar ay magsaset up ng parang market, ano? market area kung saan na itatampok yung iba't ibang mga local uh, locally produced, barm-produced products. I-display doon at ibibenta sa murang halaga. ba? Diba? So, yan po yung atin sa atin ng MAFAR or the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Agrarian Reform or MAFAR. Yan, MAFAR Lenke. Magkakaroon din po ng distribution of farm inputs and fingerlings at agri-fisheries exhibit. Dyan, dito po, sa Maguindanao po yan, bukas po yan. Meron din pong medical and surgical mission ang MOH. Meron pong... Um, Mm -hmm. sa lahat ng probinsya at sa mga at sa 63 barangay yes, ng North Cotabato yes, meron din pong provincial office groundbreaking ceremony sa Buluan sa Maguindanao may groundbreaking of COVID-19 isolation facility sa Buluan at jobs fair natin sa atin ng uh, MOLE or ng Ministry of Labor and Employment and uh, may re registration On Rural Workers Association and uh, may uh, COVID-19 assistance program yung MOLE. May uh, giveaway souvenir items naman po ang MTIT, uh, Business Opera Orientation Training. Awarding of certificates of registration and certificate of compliance sa mga cooperatives. At uh, yung populariz popularization of Salamat uh, Excellence Award in Leadership or SEAL ng MILG. So, itong uh, Salamat Award uh, Arian ay, uh, or Salamat Excellence Award ay isang uh, panibagong programa no, ng MILG para kilalanin yung uh, 
ating uh, mga outstanding leaders or uh, Kumbaga, local may, chief executives. Kumbaga, meron silang mga incentives mm -hmm. na natatanggap sa pag-perform nila ng bahay yes. sa mga mga lugar. Yes, so bukas sa Maguindanao po yan. Ganon din po ang mangyayari sa Lanao del Sur. Uh, magkakaroon po ng, uh, bukas po ito ha, magkakaroon ng inauguration and turnover of COVID-19 Ligtas Isolation Facility sa Marantau. Diyan po sa Lanao del Sur. and stability. The Bangsamara Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao is a product of almost two decades of negotiations between the government of the Philippines and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, one feat that symbolizes the new regional government's authority and autonomy is the ability to hoist the flag side by side, the Philippine flag, signaling the national government's acknowledgement to our long history as a people and our plight towards self-determination. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mapia kapipita. Marayaw may naat, mapia mapita bang samoro. My name is Aisa Abbas. And I'm Amin Andrew Alonto, both coming from the Bangsamoro Information Office. And we are honored to be, with, uh, to be your host for today's significant event. Welcome to the Bangsamoro Foundation Day 2021 kickoff ceremony. So how are you doing today, this morning? Extremely excited, sir. Kayo po, kamusta po kayo? Equally joyful because today we get to celebrate our history and collectively look forward to what awaits our beautiful region, inshallah. Befitting, sir, that this celebration carries the theme, Moral Governance, Building Stronger Foundations for a Better Bangsamoro. And as we launch our week-long celebration from January 18 to 22, we will be having a symbolic hoisting of the Bangsamoro flag alongside the Philippine national flag. And this is, of course, pursuant to Section 2, Article 2 of RA 11054, or the POL, which states that the flag of the Republic of the Philippines shall always be displayed alongside the Bangsamoro flag. And for the first time, the same gesture shall be observed simultaneously in all of the geographic territory of Barm this morning. All right, so let's begin by asking the guidance of the Almighty through an invocation to be led by Bangsamoro Grand Mufti Abu Huraira Udasan for the Muslim prayer, BTA member Dr. Susana Anayatin for the Christian prayer, and BTA member and Indigenous Peoples Affairs Minister Timoy Melanie Ulama for the Lumad Prayer. This will be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and Barm Hymn to be led by the Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education Choir from Magindano Division 2. Thank 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين We beseech you almighty Allah of your benevolence and blessing on this auspicious occasion of the commemoration of the foundation day of the Bangsa Moro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Ya Allah, O Almighty Allah, pursuant to the Quranic injunction that whoever grateful for your favor will be granted more favor. In this, we are gathered here raising our hands in a gesture of humility before you, expressing our gratitude and gratefulness to your favor by the founding of the Bangsamoru Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, being the culmination of the Bangsamoru struggle over a course of centuries for liberation from the tyranny of the colonial regime that deprived the then uh, Isla uh, Bangsamoro Islamic Sultanate of the moral governance they enjoyed. Ya Allah, O oh Almighty Allah, provide our leaders excellent mental and physical health. Keep their steps firm and strong in getting rid of all evils of graft and corruption within the government servant circle. Strengthen their position to surmount the challenges and stumbling blocks on our way for development in the light of moral governance. For you are the absolute sovereign, exalted in might. Ya Allah, O oh Almighty Allah, enhance the unity, solidarity, and integrity of our people as one Bangsamoro people, one Bangsamoro Ummah. Enlighten the, uh, the adversaries of the Bangsamoro Organic Law, BOL, to concede to the truth and to accept and acknowledge the reality. For you are the most gracious, the most uh, generous. Ya Allah, subhanaka ya Allah, glory be to you, almighty Allah. Shower upon us your blessing for the success and prosperity of our services to our society, knowing that service to man is meritorious service to you, for you are our protector and patron. Ya Allah, O oh Almighty Allah, safeguard our model, motherland against all sorts of calamities and disasters. Hinder the COVID-19 pandemic from us, for you are the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ya Allah, guide us along the right path. Lay not on us burden beyond our capacity to bear. Condemn us not if we forget or fall into error. Pass over our faults and grant us forgiveness. Let our martyrs raised in the eternity of bliss. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana tawakina adab al-nar. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Manalangin tayo. Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan, sinasamba at ipinagdarangal namin ang ngalan mo sa mga panahon na kami ay nagkasala o nag-alinlangan sa aming pananampalataya sa iyo, hiling namin ang kapatawaran mo. Panginoong Diyos, idinadalangin po namin na basbasan mo ang aming pagtitipon ngayon 
upang ipagdiwang ang ikalawang taong anibersaryo ng pagkakatatag ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, sangayon sa Republic Act 11054, isang batas na nagbigay daan sa pangarap ng mga Bangsamoro na magkaroon ng pamahalaan na may sariling pagpapasya. Idinadalangin po namin ang mga namumuno sa ating pamahalaang nasyonal, lalong-lalo na po ang ating Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte, mga senador at kongresista, at ang ating mga regional at local leaders, ang ating Chief Minister Alhaj Ahud B. Ibrahim, Speaker Pangalian M. Balindong, mga miyembro ng Cabinet at BTA Parliament, mga governors, mayors, at lahat ng mamamayang Pilipino. Panginoong Diyos, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng biyaya na tinatamasa ng Bangsa Moro sa panahong ito sa kabila ng mga paghamon, lalong-lalo na ang pandaigdigang problema dulot ng COVID-19 pandemic. Salamat po sa aming mga pinuno na mabilisang tumugon sa pamamagitan ng pagpapatupad ng mga programa at proyekto na naglalayong iangat ang kalagayan sa buhay at ikaliligtas, lalo na ng mga mahihirap na bansa moro. Panginoong Diyos, hinihiling po namin na naway dinggin mo ang aming mga panalangin at patuloy mo kaming basbasan at gabayan sa aming mga gawaing pangkapayapaan at pangkaunlaran sa bangsa moro. Hari nawang manaig sa tuwina sa aming isip, puso at diwa ang kapakanan ng mga mamamayang bangsa moro na aming sinumpaang paglilingkuran. Idinadalangin din po namin na mawala na ang COVID-19 pandemic at pagpagalingin mo po ang mga taong naapektuhan nito. Hinihiling po namin ang lahat ng ito sa ikadada ikadadakila ng ngalan mo. Amen. Munda ito. To po barakatan. Abay gay naglawan po barakat mo. Abay ay ni gay bini tribe people. Muslim, IP, and Christian settlers. Abay, to for mirai gay, dakel few bagi. Bersara, menrugai rugai yo no struggle gay. Trabangam debi gay. Telau timan ni struggler ni go gay. Arm struggle, political struggle. Ay nib ni abay magyoga yung dobo democratic struggle din. To po gtuwa kay trabang ang mong bigyan. To po makuray uray na ikagayag tamanan na bay. Ben gtuwa kay da talaga panawaya ang mong bigyan. Kaya miray gay Dakil papuri dubeme. Dakil pasalamat benat nang kahamo bigi. Bemen firo you know ratuh kebelintua ke struggle gay. Beni bigi ini. Lot tofo mensestamong ideng gay. Beder naun ni. Kasila baru di bigi ini do tau tuduk. Seban sobay raya ko dakil po papuri. Pasalamat. Ikagay ni Chief Minister. To po pong lolo noy. Begay do IP. Tido panay paganayo. Bini naman irayan gay. Bedekagay. Kuhagib. Kansan sinulat. Na niraya ruho begay. Rogetau representatif dobe MP wani timnor nika nirear so begai seketau slaps dobe ministry wadeni ini abai torom de begai 
Iraya mo bagay rin daw para dito gay ako okay mga idop tawin ni po sa lad gay man rugay rugayin e brady ni peace and development. Irayan kay solo abay. O nga ta kay so frungurungo kay dadu beme pag daw daw kay dadu beme ba kan kagay ye kataya ni modorone kundi ikamik tayan tulus kay. Ide ni binisyon mo iklonay del leaders do Pilipinas ni tido do presidente gay tido do ba barmeni do the leader gay do barmeni tofo iraya mo bigay dakel sa pagayugayon ini tao sa mabay kagdaw mo bigay kasi sampai so blewe ni ay nan so do puray gay kedupang ini bigay do telau gitu do dropo no tau try people so tabangan gede tabangan gede ang gilid ni rimbore bense ni kasabad bad gay ba ono kino tanda saya gay do arm struggle lono baru do political struggle lono jo gain bni do democratic struggle ni ni sharing of our harvest Ida begay ni tlo grupo do to try people to fo maximum gay dang iraya mo begay bagar ko daw pagdaw go begay iklo ay di ni do undo yo kay fago kay me ba sugo me gefe viri so jo para pisil ni bene bene bogogon tapangan gay urasen bogogon slingon begay Pasangan din mo. Piyo bagay. Mga kababayan, awitin natin ang lupang hinirang, ang pambansangawit ng Pilipinas. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That is uh, the MBHTE Square from the Magindano Division 2. Maraming salamat po. Such uh, majestic uh, voices, no, Sir Andrew? That's correct, I Binigyan nila ng buhay lalo ang ating Bangsamoro Hymn. At this point, uh, we would like to request our ministers uh, and heads of offices to occupy the seats here at the front. I'd like to request uh, those with umbrellas to provide assistance to our mga ministers and heads of offices. Uh, uh, take uh, precaution po when we use the stairs. Uh, medyo madulas po ang ating ano, uh, sahig. So, it's wet floor po. So 
again, pinapasalamatan po natin ang lahat ng ating mga participants ngayong umaga. Umulan, bumagyo, narito po tayo upang tunghayan ang paglulungsad ng ating anniversary. Maraming salamat po. Para po sa ating mga kaibigan na uh, mga nasa media, uh, those who are taking pictures, uh, kung nakakuha na po kayo ng mga kanya-kanyang pictures, uh, let us move na lang po backward para we can continue po with our program this morning. Mamaya po, meron po tayong, uh, actually ngayon, meron po tayong photo booth na pwede nating uh, gamitin after ng program. So yung photo booth po natin ay sponsored ng RPMA. Pero mamaya na po yun after ng program. So yung mga nasa stage po dito sa may bandang right and left or right sa may right po pwede na po tayong bumaba Yes po Baka magkasakit po kayo. So, pwede na po tayong bumaba. Okay, no? So, we are hoping na lahat po tayo dito ay in-equip po natin ang ating mga sarili, ang ating mga kalusugan. Uminom po ba tayo ng ating mga vitamins? Uh, maulan po ngayon, baka tayo ay magkasikit. So, sana po ay wag naman, no? Okay, so... Okay.
Okay. So, to officially welcome us in this historic gathering, please help us welcome the Bangsamoro Executive Secretary and Concurrent Minister of Environment, Natural Resources, and Energy, Abdul Rauf Makakwa, for his opening statement. Sir? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Honorable Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim popularly known as uh, al Hajj Murad Ibrahim, the Wali of the Bangsamoro, Ustaz Khalifa Nando, the Grand Mufti of the Bangsamoro, Abu Huraira Mudasan, the Cabinet Ministers of all independent ministries of the Bangsamoro Autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, the members of the parliament present today lead by the speaker Pangalian Balindung, my fellow servant workers of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, Salamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to this program. Today, with great pride and joy, we are greeting the Bangsamoro Foundation Day, flying high our flag that represents the fulfillment, hopes, and aspirations of the Bangsamoro people. For the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, January 21 is already marked as a significant milestone holiday. When we celebrate the birth anniversary of the vanguard of our region, as in which we have taken responsibility for our Bangsamoro on where we want this endeavor to lead us to. In today's remarkable celebration, we will fully display the inexhaustible unity which we have built over the past years and decades by leading the transition from revolution to governance and from fighting for our right self-determination to finally governing Bangsamoro region, our land and our home. Availing myself of this grand opportunity when we are proudly looking back upon the sacred history and the struggle of the Bangsamoro that is glittering with solidarity and glory. I would like to extend, reflecting your boundless support, the noblest and the appreciation to the Bangsamoro people and the communities that led us to where we stand today. We will demonstrate to the rest that we are united solidly with full courage and conviction and guided by the values of moral governance as we advance 
towards the promising future for our government, for our region, and for the Bangsamoro people that it serves. As I am standing here in the square of peace advocates, the venue for our Bangsamoro Foundation Day celebration, I am grateful and proud that we have reached this huge milestone which brims over with our people's support and joy. The history of the Bangsamoro is just the road traveled by our remarkable people. Its, big its victory is our victory. Its pride is our pride. Its journey is our journey. We extend warm gratitude to all our beloved people who have infused us with courage and remain hopeful in every great period of our passage, sharing their messages of motivation and support as we overcome the trials of our history by the willpower of the Bangsamoro. For the struggles to now, establishing and sustaining peace, today's Bangsamoro Foundation Day reminds that we are indeed moving forward in our cause. That said, it is about time that we further develop our Bangsamoro narrative. Let us zoom it into our success. Let embrace our milestone. Let's celebrate the pride of the Bangsamoro. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, thank you very much to ES Makakua for that very warm welcome. And indeed, we are looking forward on how the Bangsa model government can demonstrate further uh, that we are united through moral governance. Now, at this point, I'm extremely honored to introduce one of the fathers of the modern Bangsa model struggle, who is also serving as our BTA parliament speaker. Bangsa model, I give to you your speaker, Attorney Pangalian Balindong for a special message. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Assalamu <laughs> alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Honorable Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim Al Hajj, His uh, Eminence. Uh, our uh, Wale of the Bank Samoro, Sai Khalipa Nandu, our Grand Mufti uh, Abu Huraira, my uh, fellow workers in the Bang Samoro Transition Authority Parliament, the members of the cabinet, and other uh, government officials and employees, ladies and gentlemen, including those who are far and near. Thank you very much for joining us, or la rather lagging on, 
as we kick off the celebration of the Bang Saboro Foundation Day. Despite the physical distance that separates us today, we realize that it was still important that we find a way to come together to show that the Bangsamoro spirit is as strong as ever. While this is time to celebrate, it is also an opportunity to celebrate and reflect on those values and principles to which we aspire, and a chance to momentarily look back at a golden ticket to chart the path forward as we strive together to make ours and even a stronger government. Two years are but a fleeting moment in history. But for the Bangsamoro people, this have been two years of epoch-making changes and a testament that we have endured so much and stood the test of time as a community. Endurance is not easy, but a meaningful endurance is even harder. For our Bangsamoro community to endure many years and be able to walk through our roadmap to a durable peace, which remains as relevant as it is today, is quite a feat. If I look back on the last two years, I can easily take up the highlights of our governance, such as the establishment of the parliament, the enactment and legislation of various laws, and whole other mandates duly accomplished. This may be the highlights, but we must continue to be reminded of our journey. What it took to create the vision, the persistence, necessary to achieve it, so that we may be aware of each thread that has been carefully woven to create the tapestry that is seen and celebrated today. The success of the Bank Samoro government is of course critical to the broader ambition of standards of moral governance. To this end, the Bank Samoro Transition Authority has continuously demonstrated that we can, we can and will exercise robust influence that we are determined to meet the challenge and that we will be taking a much broader perspective. We shall now create an unparalleled force that will power the ship to clip waves and reach our destination. I am convinced now more than ever that the Bangsamoro people will write a more brilliant chapter in our journey towards the realization of our noble cause, lasting peace, and development. To all of you, happy anniversary at Mabuhay ang Bang Samoro. Allahu Akbar. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Maraming salamat po, Speaker Balindong. Truly, the struggle has come a long way, but we still have more work to do for our people, inshallah. Of course, this celebration would not be complete without hearing from the leader of the Bangsamoro struggle. 
So to help us uh, introduce our next speaker, I would like to call in Cabinet Secretary Maud Asnin Pendatun, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, our leader in the Bangsamoro struggle, and now our leader in the Bangsamoro government, help me welcome Honorable Ahud Chief Minister Alhaj Murad Ibrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah wa bihi nasta'in wa salatu wa salam wa ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat My courtesies to our Wali of the Bangsamoro, Sayyid Khalifa Nando, our Grand Mufti Abu Huraira Udasan, uh, our Speaker of the Parliament, Attorney Pangalian Balindong, Uh, our Executive Secretary and Ministry of Menri, Abdul Rauf Makakwa, the different ministers who are here today and who may not be pre present. Our dear colleagues in the Bangsamoro Transition Authority Parliament, colleagues in the Regional Cabinet, and to our partner of the different NGOs, fellow workers for peace and development, and lastly but not the least, my courtesy to the uh, to Under Secretary Dr. Abdullah P. Dumama representing the Department of uh, Health of the National Government. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Bank Samoro, again, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. While it is true that the ratification of the Bangsamoro Organic Law, the journey towards today's monumental occasion has been decades in making. Most of us here began this struggle when we were just young men who believed that our people deserve better, that our people should not be subjected to systematic oppression, exploitation, discrimination, and all forms of injustices 
and that our people shall have the right to navigate their future based on their decisions, culture, tradition, and now here we are. For the first time ever, hoisting the Bangsamoro flag next to the Philippine flag. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. We can now proudly say that we have achieved genuine autonomy that encapsulates the long history of the Bangsamoro people. Our sacrifices and our shared vision for the next generation. For the past two years, the Bangsamoro has seen an incredible number of challenges and opportunities that defined what makes up our new bureaucracy and how we can address such concerns that will ultimately benefit everyone. And just like what I have been consistently saying, in order to make this journey successful, we need everyone's support and cooperation to make sure that the moral governance becomes a practice and not just a tagline. Alam ko na marami sa atin nagsasabi ng moral governance. Pero karamihan ay sa bibig lamang ito na, na, na naririnig, hindi nakikita doon sa kanyang ginagawa. That is a big challenge for us. Because we cannot claim success in this next level of our struggle if we will not be successful in building a real governance which is founded on moral governance. Wala tayong na-accomplish if we will not be able to build a governance that will really reflect the moral governance we are aspiring for. Alam natin na our mission here is to change from the current system which we know not in accordance with what we what we believe to be our system. So our success lies on how we can change the system from from the present system to a better system or a best system. This is the reason why we are opting for an extension in the BTA because we see that the two years we have spent and the another year will be still very much lacking in order to achieve our objective, our aspiration. Kaya nga gusto natin na mag-extend pa ng tatlong taon itong BTA para at least 
makita natin na mayroon tayong na in place in line with our aspiration to change, to reform the system. Kung hindi natin ma-reform ang sistema, wala tayong nagawa. We have nothing. We cannot claim any success if we cannot reform the system. Pagka ang sistema ay parehas din sa dati, after we complete our term, then we cannot claim any success. We can proudly say that we are successful in our next level of struggle if we see a system built in moral governance. The government of the day cannot do this alone. And I hope that the renewed energy from today's symbolic celebration help us rekindle the passion for the Bangsamoro cause. Insha'Allah. Alam ninyo na more than 100,000 people give their life in order to achieve what we have achieved now. There are lots of sacrifices, sweat and tears built. Ito yung nagpa, nag, 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 uh, uh, bumuo ng ating Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao ngayon. Ito ang nagpataas sa ating Bangsamoro flag. Our tears, our sweats, and the blood of our martyrs. Allahu Akbar. I pray that when it is all said and done, we can proudly say to the rest of the world that we made peace possible and we saved the lives of the Bangsamoro and Filipinos alike especially here in Mindanao. Alam ninyo na the world is watching over us. It is not only here in the Philippines, but the entire world is watching us. And the entire people who are in, in the same uh, situation with us is closely monitoring us because they are they they want to learn lesson from what we have done and this can only be completed if we will succeed in our struggle i therefore pray to almighty allah to give us the needed guidance, blessings, and assistance in order to achieve our objective. And it is a long week ahead. Our celebration will be a long week ahead. It starts from now until 2021. Today is the kick-off ceremony just to open the celebration. So we will have continuous celebration here in the Bangsamoro Government Center and in all the other provinces and municipalities, cities uh, in the uh, within the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in most in Muslim Mindanao area. It is a long week ahead and I hope that you will take part on the various programs prepared by our ministries 
and offices in celebration of the Bangsamoro Foundation Day. Therefore, brothers and sisters, together let us work towards building a strong foundation for a better Bangsamoro founded on moral governance. Thank you so much and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, that was our Chief Minister Ahot Balawag Ibrahim. Thank you very much, Chief Minister, for that message. And I hope everyone here today will share the mission of our Chief Minister and the Bangsamoro government to change the current system to a better system, a system that is founded on moral governance. Now at this juncture, we would like to call on the different BARM officials to please join us here as we witness the ceremonial beating of the gong. So the beating of the gong marks the kickoff of our Bangsamoro founding anniversary. And for this part, uh, Sheikh Khalifa Nandu, the Bangsamoro Wali, will lead the banging of the gong to be assisted by the chief min uh, by the chief minister. <laughs> okay, so at the count of three, Sheikh Nandu will beat the gong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bangsamoro Foundation Day for 2021 is now officially open. Happy Bangsamoro Foundation Day! Ayan po. At sa ating mga kabangsamoro, muli live po tayong napapanood sa ating live stream via Facebook page, ang Bangsamoro Government Page. For more updates tungkol sa ating week-long anniversary, please follow Bangsamoro Government's official Facebook and Twitter accounts. And you can also join us in our celebration by using the hashtags uh, moral governance and hashtag a for a better Bangsamoro sa inyo pong mga social media posts and discussions. At live din po tayong napapakinggan at napapanood sa ADLSN TV, News TV, and Alternative News Online. And now for the second part of our program, we will be having symbolic turnover ceremonies of the different ministries. Okay, so for our first ministry, may we call in MBHTE, Minister Mohager Iqbal for the symbolic turnover of armchairs. <laughs> Minister Iqbal will be assisted by Chief Minister Ibrahim. Thank <laughs> you. 
po ang ating symbolic turnover ng armchairs sa MBHTE. Okay, now at this point, we will be witnessing a turnover for the Ministry of Health. And before that, we would like to call on Undersecretary of Department of Health to give a message, Dr. Abdullah Dumama. Aaj bilay mein na sahi taandar jim bismillah rahman rahim. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh. First of all, I uh, would like to start with uh, the message of the secretary, which uh, goes like this. He was verbatimly, uh, sabi niya, pakisabi naman sa sa kanila na I'd love to be there and uh, share with you the moments of uh, 
this momentous moment of uh, Bangsamoro Foundation Day. And of course, yung, the, yung pangalawa po ang pinaka-importante uh, uh, pakay namin dito ay yung uh, symbolic turnover of uh, the Department of Health Region 12 office. As you must have uh, been saying all the, all the time, it has been there. It, it has been a, uh, it has, uh, been a uh, witness to all uh, uh, the fruitful services for the department. Napakatagal na ho dyan yung uh, Department of Health natin. Mukhang 80s pa po. Uh, if there are, uh, kung meron pong uh, medyo ma heavy heart at medyo masasaktan, it's uh, me because it was my time during the time uh, na ako po ay regional director ng Region 12. We did the uh, major renovation and repair of the building. But because of uh, yung pong uh, where's the secretary, it's about time. Natagal na po dapat na, ng uh, turn over ito. Pero nakiusap po kami sa pamamagitan ng uh, team na pinadala ni uh, Chief Minister na baka pwedeng uh, hintayin ho natin matapos po muna, sir, yung uh, building sa Coronadal, South Cotabato. I was told it's in the pro it's still ongoing about 70% and we are uh, uh, appealing na baka pwede po eh, requesting na baka pwede po sa June ay eh, magkakaroon tayo probably at the middle of or the third week of June ay magkakaroon na po tayo ng physical turnover. So uh, 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 nag-agree po ang Depart uh, Minister of Health nag-agree yung team na pinadala ninyo at uh, kami po ay nagpapasalamat at uh, mapapagbigyan at uh, wala naman ho talaga tayong magagawa dahil ito po ay batas na yan ho ang sabi ni Secretary sabi niya matag gusto na gusto niya pumunta sana dito actually June eh, January 21 po nakaschedule to at uh, he was able to block the, the date pero ngayon medyo na move ho yata and uh, nagkaroon ho ng uh, magkakaroon ho silang ng cabinet uh, meeting this afternoon with that, uh, I wish to extend my courtesies to all the dignita dignitaries present today. My special mention to the Honorable uh, Chief Minister uh, Ahud B. Ibrahim, sir. Assalamu alaikum. The Executive Secretary Abdurrahub Makakua, sir. Speaker Attorney Ali Bang Pangalian Bangit Balindong, sir. Honorable Wali Kalipa Nando. Honorable Mufti Abdul uh, Huraira Udasan, studs. Of course, the ministers, ministers uh, Iqbal, minister Sinarimbo, ministers Zazuri, minister uh, Hermoso Dixon, minister of course the uh, OIC minister of uh, minister the minister of health, Dr. Amiril Usman, uh, minister Ed. Uh, Gera, lahat ho ng mga ministers, I may not be able to mention all your names, are my, friend, my MP friends, Attorney Joe Lorena, Attorney Omar uh, Sema, Attorney uh, Madam uh, Susana Anayatin, Madam, our uh, ARD po, Assistant Regional Director of uh, the Department of Health Region 12, we have Dr. Pisyong Ligaspi, we call him Pisyong. Other members of the cabinet, my courtesy is also to my... I'm a prou proud father. I'd like to greet my my daughter. Wala ko tayong magagawa. I'm really a so proud father. So, papagpasensya nyo na. Other members of the cabinet, other members of the parliament, Bangsamoro employees and officials, Again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I wish to congratulate everyone, especially the Bangsamoro people, for achieving another milestone in the history of BARM. But more importantly, I'd like to dedicate this special event to all our mentors who have painstakingly worked for the fruition of this endeavor, that is, the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, who unfortunately have be, never seen the fruits of their labor. Just like uh, the Honorable Minister have said, blood, sweat, and tears, yun ho ang naging puhunan dito. Nevertheless, 
we shall forever be indebted of their sacrifices and hard work. Moving on, it is as if the challenges and difficulties are never enough in our quest to have Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao that we are currently plagued by a pandemic that I say unfortunate. <clears throat> it, was, it has been almost a year now that we have made our own personal sacrifices defeating the virus. But mankind have proven its, have proven its resilience by going through the experience in a collective manner. We are witnesses on how cooperation and collaboration create significant and meaningful results. In the same way that if we wish to improve the current state of BARM, let us continue to work hand in hand to place ourselves in a more competitive status amongst all other players in the field of politics, economics, health, education, social services, and others. Let this occasion be our stage to showcase what we have achieved and a platform for inspiration for all our future goals. The best way to honor our mentors will be to continue on pursuing their dreams and insert our own dreams for the benefit of this land. We shall strive to live with the expectations handed to us and be unrelenting, <clears throat> unrelenting the whole time. After all, the legacies will only be written in the future when all our actions today are appreciated and respected. Hence, I am appealing to everyone to work collectively for the benefit of the future generations. We are already working di diligently now, but there are still rooms for improvement. Let us continually seek for better options and processes to guarantee a more sustainable system for our children. Now is the time. Wala na pong iba. Wala na ho iba pang oras kundi ngayon. With that having said, I wish to congratulate the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao once again on their second anniversary and may you continue to flourish and withstand the test of time. Maraming salamat po. Salamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, Yusek Dumama. And now we will proceed to the ceremonial turnover of the Office of Center for Health and Development 12. This will be uh, led by Dr. Abdullah Dumama to be assisted by Assistant Regional Director of CHD12, Director Sulpicio Henry Legaspi. And to receive the turnover, OIC Minister Amirel Usman together with Deputy Minister Zul Karnain Abbas. The symbolic turnover of the Office of Center for Health and Development 12 and other health, health facilities is pursuant to RA11054, otherwise known as the Bangsa Moro Organic Law. Okay, thank you very much. And now to deliver his message, we'd like to call on Ministry of Health, OIC Minister, Dr. Amiri Lusman. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. My warm greetings to our Chief Minister, Ahud B. Ibrahim, 
to the Executive Secretary of BARM, Sir Abdul Raup Makakua, to the Grand Mufti of the Bangsamoro, Abu Huray Raudasan, to our Bangsamoro Wali, Shai Kalipanando, to our guest, the Undersecretary of Health, Dr. Abdullah Dumama, to the Speaker of the Parliament, Honorable Pangalian Balindong, to the Assistant Director of the CHD12, Dr. Solpicio Henry Licasvi Jr., and to all of the ministers and the BTA members that is present, to the Bangsamoro, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today, we behold one of the momentous events for the Ministry of Health, the symbolic turnover of Center for Health and Development Office of Region 12 and other health facilities and offices to the Ministry of Health of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. As we push for the progressive and moral governance, we are to fulfill the mandates of our organic law, among which is the transfer of the national government properties and assets to the Bangsamoro government as such, this symbolic turnover. In the Ministry of Health, we wholeheartedly accept the symbolic key. May this be a sign of yet another indicator of progressive governance. Today is the day for the struggle to progress and long-lasting peace. In the context of health sector, we will make sure to properly invest in the health of the Bangsamoro people. Long live the Bangsamoro. Barakallahu wa lakum fil Qur'anil Karim wa nafa'anni wa iyakum bil ayati wa dikler hakim innahu jawadun malikun barur rabur raufur rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Next, for the launching of regional disaster vehicles and equipment, uh, MILG Minister Attorney Nagib Sinarimbo will join us here on stage. So as part of our second anniversary commemoration for the founding of the Bangsamoro government today, as part of its commitment to the Bangsamoro people, our brothers from the 63 barangays of North Cotabato and Cotabato City who are joining us today in our celebration are beneficiaries of relief packs. An actual distribution of relief good is taking place today and will continue until our anniversary date in the areas included in the Bangsamoro from North Cotabato. As part of the Bangsamoro government's concern over safety and immediate response during calamities for its people, the Bangsamoro government is providing rescue equipment to our responders in the region. Today, here at the Bangsamoro Government Center, we welcome everyone to the ceremonial turnover of relief goods of our Bangsamoro brothers and the launching of our rescue equipment to include two sea ambulance. This signifies our continued commitment of a happy and safe Bangsamoro. <laughs> We have 10 beneficiaries from Cotabato City. We have Maimona Usof, Mena Zakaria, Johanna Labani, Hasna Antao, Baikonan Alginor, Baby Talusan, Mariam Antao, Manguda Talusan, Dasembay Talusan, and Pugyan Kali. Thank <laughs> you. 
a round of applause for the ceremonial turnover of the regional sector vehicles and equipment. So these vehicles and equipment will be very useful in our immediate uh, response to disasters, calamities. A round of applause, please. Salamat. That was the ceremonial turnover of the vehicles and equipment of the MILG. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so while we're observing the turnover, I would just like also to announce that uh, some information about the armchairs that were uh, turned over earlier by, uh, by the MBHTE. So 100,000 school armchairs will be delivered by the Ministry of Basic, Higher and Technical Education to some schools in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region and Muslim Mindanao this year. The MBHTE designed school armchairs has a wide top arm writing space, laminated wood design and strong metal case and support suitable for all types of learners. These armchairs will replace gradually the over depreciated and dilapidated ar uh, armchairs. The procurement of these armchairs was one of the projects of the MBHTE in preparation for the school year 2020-2021. However, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, production and distribution of these armchairs were delayed. Even so, these will be used on the opening of the face-to-face -face classes. 20,000 of these armchairs were funded by the Office of the President, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. 30,000 from the Office of Ahud Balawag Ibrahim through Barm Helps Program and 50,000 from the Office of MBHT Minister Muhager Iqbal. The indigenous people learners from the municipality of Upi, province of Maguindanao, were the first beneficiaries of these armchairs. A turnover ceremony was held on Tuesday, January 12, at the municipal grandstand of Upi, and 120 armchairs were given to Tudok Mamot Elementary School, while F. Pesas Elementary School received 80. All right. Maraming salamat po sa ating mga beneficiaries. And uh, Sir uh, Attorney Senarimbo and Chief Minister Ibrahim. Okay, now we will also witness the turnover of wheelchairs because uh, due to the traffic, medyo na late pero nakahabol po. So we will be witnessing the ceremonial turnover of wheelchairs uh, to be led by Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim. So while we are waiting, nice po natin ding pasalamatan. We would like to thank the um, partner international non-government organizations of BARM, the European Union, the United Nations Office for Project Services, and the Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much.
and all other partner agencies who are who are with us and who are uh, helping us. So the turnover will be uh, wheelchairs and crutches. So Okay, so the MOH will be having a separate uh, turnover of the wheelchairs and other medical devices, equipment uh, to the intended beneficiaries. Okay, so for this part, uh, may we again call on our Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim to be assisted by Minister of Health, OIC Minister Dr. Amiril Usman. I'd also like to call on Executive Secretary, Minister Abdul Rauf Mahakua, also Yusek Abdullah Dumama of the Department of Health. Okay, maraming salamat po. We would also like to make an announcement that the Ministry of Trade, Investment, and Tourism uh, will be conducting their turnover activity with the Department of Trade and Industry, Cotabato City, later today at Al Nur Complex at 1 p.m. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now the last ceremonial turnover that we will be having this morning is from the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Agrarian Reform, and they will be uh, they will be turning over agricultural uh, products and equipment to beneficiaries. So again, for this part, we'd like to call on again the Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim and the Executive Secretary Abdul Rauf Makakua to be assisted by Mafar Minister Muhammad Yaqub. Okay, maraming salamat po. 
we would also like to inform the public na the celebration that we are having right now in the regional government will also be uh, conducted in the different provinces of the Bangsamor Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Uh, tomorrow, our, our, some of our ministry, uh, ministers will be going to Maguindanao and Lano del Sur. And then on Wednesday, uh, the same uh, uh, ceremonial activities will be conducted in the 63 barangays of North Cotabato and Basilan. And on Thursday, January 21st, uh, our ministers will be in Sulu and Tawi-Tawi. Okay, so announcement po ulit ng MTIE. Uh, hindi po sa Alnor Complex magaganap ang kanilang turnover ceremony. Uh, doon po magaganap sa M Manor at 1 p.m. Again, sa M Manor po at 1 p.m. ngayong araw. We would also like to inform the public po no, na sa likod ng OCM building fronting the SKCC uh, may mga iba't ibang booth po ang ating mga ministries that are providing uh, services. May job fair from Mole, uh, Mafar Lenke from Mafar. And I believe meron din pong uh, medical assistance from the MOH. Sa atin namang mga media partners, meron po tayong uh, press con right after this program sa SKCC Lobby. Makakasama po natin doon ang ilan sa ating mga ministers or BARM officials and uh, Sir Kabsek Mod Asnin Pendatun. At meron po tayong photo booth dito sa bandang right natin, dito sa my stage, for free, sponsored by RPMA. Maraming salamat sa RPMA. At yan po ang kabuuan ng paglulunsad ng ating Bangsamoro Foundation Day. We thank everyone here who joined us in kickstarting our week-long celebration of the Bangsamoro Foundation Anniversary. From the Bangsamoro Information Office, this has been your host for today, Isa Abbas and Andrew Alonto. Again, Happy Foundation Day! Have a safe celebration, everyone! Thank <laughs> you.